right, so we're here at the Epilog laser booth, and right now, here we got a CO2 laser. This thing goes for around 16,000. It's gonna work for a lot of organic materials, woods, plastics, some aluminum and stuff like that. And then they also have their fiber laser right over here, which is gonna be working for more of like raw metals. Raw metal one, fiber laser, you're looking at it around the $30,000 range. So it really depends on what use case you're using. If you're using organics and plastics and stuff like that, something like that costs about $16,000, 16K for the uh, CO2 and about 30 for the fiber. So it just depends on your use case. If you're dealing with a lot of metals and stuff like that, then you probably want to go with something like the fiber. Where I see a big use case for this is like if you're manufacturing products, let's say you're making a, an assembly or something like that, and you want your parts to have your logo or your label and everything on it, this is something you could throw in there, put all your parts in, just have the laser run through it, something like this. Maybe you're making a heat block, and you want to know that that was made by you, your company, go ahead, throw your logo, get your recognition that you deserve, and keep it all branded. So that's what I really like about these lasers machines. All kinds of different stuff department events you know you can do plastics you can do you know metals with ink look at that so they take this bike sprocket and you just put the logo all over it you know and it's actually etched into the material now this is a whole nother level they're built they're burning in it and just making art i mean this is beautiful i don't know how i mean at some point in history people were probably carving this by hand but this is incredible very, very cool stuff here at EpilogLaser.com. Seventy-five watt laser made in MSA, and obviously some insane detail. On these machines, this one is CO2. Obviously, the full system taking out the fumes and whatnot. We got a lot of cool examples, a lot of cool machines. And you know, here they're also doing metal and whatnot. Now you can basically carve in with this, but they don't advertise it for cutting. But they still, you can, you can really get some deep stuff in there. It's very cool. So you grab one of these puppies. Very, very nice. We're using the Bill for fume extraction system right here. Probably just could make it right up to it right there in the back. Very important. Keep your fume safe. You always want to have good carbon, good HEPA filtration of all kinds. Over here we've got a bigger system and they've got both planks of wood going. As you can see right there, there's a live camera feed of what's going on. So it looks like it's just a basically a pick and play system where you put in your designer over there you got your thing set up and then you it'll have a camera right here uh, showing where you're going to be cutting what you're going to be cutting and then you can just chunk out one of these bad boys